Hi everyone, and welcome to the Agent's Survival Guide. I will be your host for today, Safer for Sephiroth 7 as always, and I got a few tips that might help your experience in the Dark Zone. But before we get into it, let's go over a couple things. Now, um, it seems as though everyone online believes that you don't really stand a chance solo in the Dark Zone, but I definitely beg to differ, and for a good reason. Now. I do understand the dark zone can be quite intimidating especially when you're by yourself and you know you don't have any teammates and most of the players that you run into are most most likely guaranteed to have other teammates yeah 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 I get it and they might be in party chat as well okay but you know when you think about that you're not that limited as most of you think you are now yeah you might like the firepower because there's only you and not a team of you and three other players yeah I can understand that but think about certain things like what about the skills that you have or the weapons abilities you know or maybe the environment around you the NPCs see now we are starting to see our options are a little bit more flexible than we really thought right okay so with that being said once again, I am Safer Sephiroth 7, and here is the five top things that can and will improve your solo experience in the Dark Zone. Number five: Avoid unnecessary confrontation slash the stealth strategy. For example, if you see two teams of four in a firefight, um, do not even engage. Not even if they're rogue. Most likely, you'll get caught in a crossfire, putting yourself at a high risk. But that does not mean that you cannot pick off any leftovers after the fight though. But only if they're rogue. You know, you don't want to draw any attention to yourself. You might even get some leftover drop gear or something uh, from one of the players that got downed or died during the fight, whatever. You know. But that being said, most importantly, do not, I repeat, do not go rogue. It's not worth it. As a solo unit, it is not worth it. Since there are other players that can see you when you go rogue within your location, within their radius, you have a hard time defending against many ambushes even if you do manage to detect them beforehand. So be stealthy, avoid groups, take out NPC characters for loot, dark zone currency, whatever. And instead, you know, try to extract your contaminated loot at an empty extraction point if possible. Remember, patience is the key. Number 4. Team up for common goals or threats slash the adaption strategy. Now, I can't tell you how many times I was surprised to see a group of players run past me, ignore me even though I knew that they knew that I had loot on me, and then realize it's because a bounty is in our area, you know, around us. That was way more important to them. I guess they were bounty hunters, I don't know. But the matter is just listen up everyone is not your enemy players on the server find themselves teaming up to take out rogue groups or even NPC groups with a mini boss all the time simply because it just increases their survivability in the dark zone and you know the cool part is that don't require you to join an actual group party this is just a thought process for those who want to share common goals pretty neat right Number three, bring a freaking mic slash the communication strategy. No, but seriously though, they put proximity chat in the game for a reason, you guys. Like seriously, like in my opinion, it did make my experience five times better. Yeah, believe it or not, using my mic saved my life once in the dark zone. Um, and on the flip side, it, it kept me from shooting someone in the face who screamed in there Mike he said wait wait I, I'm, I'm only trying to help which in return I said okay you can help but if you try anything you're dead meat I'm gonna shoot you <laughs> so ironically um I did end up teaming up with that person and he's even on my friends list today because of that and um he told the truth he helped me the whole time I was in the dark zone um but you know you never know be careful with this because like I said before, everyone isn't your enemy, but at the same note, everyone isn't your friend. Number two, loadouts and weapons, the be prepared strategy. I mean, most of you already seen this coming. It's no secret to a good defense 
um, is to have a great offense, you know, however the saying goes. But anyway, even though you may want to avoid gunfights, the truth is, more than likely you will have to defend yourself at some given time. So this is very crucial. Make sure that you are outfitted in high level gear and weapons as much as you can possibly can. Um, this could save your life many times. I mean, always be prepared. Uh, bring consumables and use them. Uh, keep your ammo stocked, even if you gotta stop at the nearest safe house, whatever the case may be. Uh, master all your class abilities. Create solo loadouts. Even experiment. You know, um, there are many weapon talents and perks for different combinations and different uses. So doing all these steps will make you a better player. Um, it will turn a good solo player into a great solo player. Like, look at my example. Okay, so I'm running around solo. I noticed these two guys over here. You know, I just got that airy feeling like uh, something is not right here. Okay, so I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm just going to go to the safe house or whatever you want to call it, the entrance. And look, I'm getting shot at. I knew it. So quick thinking, I set up my turret, got my liberator. I'm like, okay, heal a little bit. Take that guy down. There we go. No, the other one is weak. My turret's still going off. Got to reload. Use that as cover. Go out. Get him down. Then, of course, right here, you know, I had to have a little bit of fun because, you know, I just totally owned these kids. They both tried to run up on me because they thought I was defenseless. And I wasn't. I was smart. And I outplayed them. And there we go. So, I mean... People will try to screw you over, but if you have the right gear, the right strategies, you use your cover, you use your turrets, sticky bombs, radar, you know, all your different skills, um, you can get some good results. Number one. And number one is team up with other players. I mean, it's not really a solo thing. I know. I know what you guys want to say. It's kind of like a cop out thing. But really, I want everybody to enjoy the game. I don't want them to be discouraged to meet new people, to make new friends, to make new teammates. And this game actually gives you a lot of tools to do so, unlike some other games. So, I mean, first of all, you can um, invite anybody that's in the instance with you to your team. Even if you're standing next to them. Um, I think it's like pushing one of the thumbsticks and you can bring up a menu. You can add them to your fire team. It's really, it's really cool. And then, you know, you can go from there. If you guys want to invite each other to a party, you can use the mics, all of that good stuff to make good teamwork. Um, they even have an option for matchmaking. You can go join the matchmaking system and it will pair you up with people that's on par with you level wise. Um, and then if all else fails, um, I even have a group myself. It's called Agents of the Order a community page is right here. That's a picture of that. Feel free to join if you want permanent groups. Um, I am going to try to support that, get people together, to sit up there and um, make some nice groups and do some cool things and just have a lot of fun. So I hope you guys will really appreciate that. Um, I feel like our number two was more of a number one, but nonetheless, that's the top five things to help you become a great solo player and have a better solo experience in a dark zone. I mean, maybe I should mention this. You can also invite friends. I mean, that goes without saying. I figured everybody would already know that, but I'm just going to say it at the end of this. Anyway, you can also invite friends. Check your friend list on PSN. Invite friends. Yeah. But now we're coming to the closing of this video. Um, I'm just going to wrap things up. Uh, thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please include them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I am Safer Sephiroth 7, and don't forget to get your level up.